Hi, my name is Lana Kizmoto, and if you're a preschooler or kindergartner, you may know me because I volunteer on Sundays for this age group. And today I'm going to read about Jonah. Jonah 1 through 4. I will make you as a light for the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Isaiah 49, 6. Jonah was a prophet, which means God gave Jonah a message to tell others. One day, God told Jonah to tell people in Nineveh that they were evil and broken. But Jonah refused. The people in Nineveh had done terrible things. Why should they hear God's message? Jonah knew God wanted to save them. Jonah got in a ship and went in the opposite direction. He tried to run away from God and his plans to rescue the Ninevites. God sent a storm with huge waves, a storm so big, it almost broke the ship. Everyone on board cried to their gods for help. Jonah told the sailors what to do. The man called out to Jonah's God, then threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped immediately, and those sailors believed in the one true God. God sent a great fish to rescue Jonas from the sea. The fish swallowed him whole. Jonas stayed in the belly of the fish for three days and nights. He prayed to God, and God made the fish put Jonah back on dry land. Again, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh to say that in 40 days, Nineveh would be destroyed. This time, Jonah obeyed. He told the people God's message, and they believed God. They were very sad about their evil. The people in Nineveh called out to God, and he rescued them. That made Jonah angry. Jonah didn't want good things to happen to bad people. He didn't realize that he was bad too. He also disobeyed God and done evil. But God showed Jonah that the grace of God was for everyone. God loves everyone and everything he has made. And he will rescue anyone who wants to be rescued, no matter how selfish or bad they are. Can you think about someone who needs to be rescued from bad things? How could you show that person God's love? Think about these questions. Bye.